Hey, hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here again. Figured I'd shoot another video since I had a handful of other stuff come in the mail, and I know I'm going to get behind because I got a bunch of stuff coming this week. So let's get to this. Last Sunday, not this past Sunday, but the week before that, is was a uh, event on Facebook in one of the vinyl groups, and they had it's called Super Metal Sunday, and it's where just everybody, it's just a barrage of people selling stuff and people saying, "Here, me." want yes and usually i don't in the past couple of times they do it like twice a year i believe in the past couple of years i tend to swoop in near the end and just get leftovers what's left of people's stuff and so i don't get involved in the whole festivities this year for some reason i was here at my computer they didn't actually start doing the music portion they have bands that have videos that pop on lots of different bands have, have sponsored it and been on there lots of different band videos and there's like little festivities that go on but the actual posting of the records didn't start until like after church i was thinking i'm gonna miss all of it in church but it turns out it starts at like two o'clock in the afternoon i happened to be here at my computer and so i was there written fresh refresh refresh me refresh me refresh me buying stuff that i could buy left and right not a ton but still there's some really good deals on there. Anyway, a couple of things have started trickling in. A couple of the minor things. I got more coming in this week, but I wanted to go ahead and catch up with this. This was one. The person didn't know anything about the band. They don't like Christian music. They the price was the price was decent. You probably I could have probably got a, a copy that didn't have cover damage for a little more. But I was like, you know, the album is in great condition as far as the actual vinyl. I wasn't too worried about the cover and the price with shipping was a decent price i'm not gonna you know this is an early pure metal release it's they're not getting easier to find there's been no talk of any white cross reissues even though they're a band that really needs to be reissued and they described it as near mint and i thought you know great so um i did mention you know the person said you know you did see what i said about the cover it looks like somebody just chewed the mess out of the cover <laughs> literally some kind of an animal but you know didn't affect the album and, you know, I'm like, well, you know, I, I'm not too worried about the cover, but obviously if if it was cheaper, I'd be even more happier. But I, w I wasn't complaining. So they said, well, look, I'm going to throw, well, we'll throw in something else to sweeten the deal if you want it. And I'm like, sure. And so they threw in a uh, Santana Best Of album. They mentioned it in the conversation, you know, if you're interested, I got a Santana Best Of album that I don't really want because I buy the actual Santana albums and don't need a Best Of. And I thought, sure, I'll take it, Santana, night and day. Buy it anytime I see it, you know, in the wild for an inexpensive price. And the Best Of, why not? Because I'm not a huge Santana fan, but I like all of his Best Of stuff. I got it. It's on translucent, clear type vinyl. Turns out this is a very recent Walmart reissue. Yeah, I mean, brand new, brand new album. It's not like this is an old thrift store dollar scratch up copy they sent. They sent me a brand new reissue. I mean, yeah, it's open, but yeah, great stuff. So it definitely sweetened the deal and made that that much more happy to have. And then I got Armored Saint, <clears throat> Delirious Nomad. This again, I saw it. The price was right with shipping. You know, I was like, yeah, I need that. It's another one of them armored saints to fill in my spots that I needed. So, yeah, pull the trigger on this. Now, the neat thing about that was the stiffener they used <laughs> to hold the album together better is the Red Fox album. Now, Red Fox is a comedian. Of course, I grew up watching Sanford and Sons from the 70s. Still occasionally pop it on when I see it nowadays. And so I thought this was cool when I opened it. I mean, the album is the cover... It's pretty rough. It has no year on it. It almost looks like a bootleggy type thing. On the back, it talks about all the other albums that he has that all look the same. So it looks like it's part of a series. Doesn't really say much about it. Went online, really couldn't find it at first. When I opened it and looked at it, I'm like, huh. It was it was uh, very 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 few marks on it. It was actually fairly clean. Had you know. So I gave it a good scrubbing, and it cleaned up real well. Just, you know, it's got some pops and cracks on it, but no date or anything, but from the the run out in the, in the dead wax area, it does have what looks like a date, 317.71, 3-17-71. So I'm assuming that's when this was pressed. It was in 1971. Went to throw it on, and it wasn't until then that I realized that there was a little, there's a little bump right there. And so for the first like five minutes, it's got a it's got a dip right there. For the first five minutes of either side, 
it's jumping but you can get into it and, and play it anyway it was just neat to hear red fox stand-up comedy from the 70s could have been recorded in the 60s for all i know uh, he was pretty popular back then and then of course went on to do the tv show sanford and son and uh and some other tv appearances so yeah anyway that was just kind of cool it's neat when you get a stiffener that you kind of know that's something that you probably would redeemably play and i did i cleaned it up and i'll have to skip the first few minutes of the of the show but i can play it anyway that's it for now i expect that i'm going to be getting some mail today because again some of the stuff should start flooding in so but i want to go ahead and share those with you thanks a lot be kind to each other love peace rock on rock hard <laughs>